Hi everyone, today I am making chicken shami kebabs in the ninja foodie. Start the foodie in sear saute mode at high. For this recipe you need a kilogram of uh, boneless chicken. Three medium sized onions chopped into large pieces. One cup of chana dal washed. Two tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. And one tablespoon of garlic chopped or fresh or garlic paste. Lastly, I'm adding one packet of Shan Chami Kebab mix. You can use any other brand Shami Kebab masala or you can make your own. Next, I'm adding one and three quarter cup of water. Just roughly mix everything in so that everything is submerged under the water. Now I'm gonna pressure cook at high for just five minutes. Once the pressure cooking is done, you can quick release. There is some water left um, in the pot. So I'm gonna change the mode to saute and high and try to dry this water. The meat and lentil mixture is almost dry now. The water has evaporated. Now I'm gonna let it cool down and then grind it into a paste. Then I will make round kebabs out of it. I have put half of the mixture in the food processor and I've also added some chopped serrano pepper. You can also add some greens like cilantro and mint. And now I'm gonna grind it into a paste and then do the other half of the kebab mixture. This is how the ground paste looks like. I'm gonna take it out and do the other half of the meat. Now I'm gonna make round kebabs out of this kebab paste. I am using these gloves because my nails are long and I don't want the kebab mixture to go inside the nails. But you can make it with just bare hands. Make the size to your liking. Here I've made several kebabs out of that paste and I have placed them in layers separated by parchment paper. After making a few kebabs, I will go and freeze the rest of these kebabs. Um, that's why we need this parchment paper because then they won't stick to each other and remain separately. The next day when they are frozen, you can take them out and put them in a zipper bag. Next, I will fry these kebabs. As, in, as you can see, we're gonna shallow fry them. So first, I will dip the kebab in an egg wash and it is one egg with just a little bit of water. And this is how I'm dipping these kebabs. Now I'm gonna put this in the pan. Let the first side fry first and wait for it to turn brown. Then flip them over and brown the other side. 